Hey guys, it's your humble host, or a kid if you prefer, so I'm back with another video. Real quick, I wanted to touch upon something, as for those of you who are not aware, uh, today is Memorial Day, where we honor our fallen soldiers, no matter what creed, sexual orientation, religion, belief, it just, you served our country, a lot of family members and friends did not make it back. Um, a lot of families had to sacrifice time with their loved ones as their loved ones went overseas. So, um, for those of you who are not aware, I'm an anti-SJW, anti-feminist. And I've made a lot of videos talking about uh, feminism and some of the politics. And so, there's the other spectrum of that. And for those of you who do not know who the Honey Badgers are, they are a men's right activist group. And the reason why I put quotation marks, because it seems like a lot of the stuff they do, from what I've seen, is only of monetary value, that they only do it for money. I'll give you a perfect example. For anyone who remembers what the Kumite was, it was run by Tonka Saw. There was a situation that broke out between Mr. Medicare and Dr. Random Account. Okay? So you had the person, from what I've been told, who actually runs the Honey Badgers, Allison, come onto the Kumite to debate, or was supposed to debate, Mr. Medicare in favor of Dr. Random Account. What she did instead was shield a GoFundMe. I don't remember what the GoFundMe was for. But instead of having an actual debate, she just came on the show to try to get money from people. So, when I put out something like this, this tweet, I do have it zoomed in my screen. So, the original tweet is by Alexandria Oscar cortez We all know she's a bit of a clown, but she didn't say anything wrong in this tweet, and I don't touch anything by her because I would need a drink afterwards, and I just, no. Um, so she puts today, hashtag Memorial Day, we honor the lives of all those who gave their lives, both abroad and at home, in service to our country. It's a hard day for many, which it is. Like I said, a lot of family members did not come back. Uh, friends did not come back. Take time to be there for one another, to check in, share. Um, so Honey Badgers decides to put in... Absent is the word men. So we're going to toss the women who have served. I know one family friend who's a Marine or used to be Marine. And then the I have many men and women in my family who have served. So you're just going to kind of throw all the women who have sacrificed their lives between it now and I don't even know what your time margin is, because a lot of women served back then, too. There was, a, I believe it was called a nurse infantry, if you guys have studied upon history. A lot of women weren't allowed in a lot of positions in the military, but they had nurses that would go in the field and tend to the soldiers' medical units, and they would lose their lives doing that. Um, it's not easy being a uh medical or field nurse, or I don't know the proper term for that, but being a nurse out in the field because you're trying to patch up soldiers, you're trying to heal the wounded, and you got bombs and stuff um, falling all over you. I have one story from my uncle who he's, I believe, long retired, but uh, he was a medical officer, was patching together people when a... Uh, a bomb went off near his tent. Thank God he survived, but you get my point. Back then, even the medical staff in the army, their lives get put in danger, and just every soldier's life is viable. There's so many field or excuse me, positions and units and different things that needs to be done. So when you have stupidity like this from supposed MRAs, it's just cringy. And you have a lot of people who are coming into this third, um, combating them, like one person here, women have also served in the military, and she didn't mention women. Yeah, no, it was all, keyword all. You guys are so freaking cringy. Where's that stupid tweet where they mentioned, they literally did a number count, literally did a number count that was like over 5,000 or something, 
uh, in the 10,000s. Um, okay, yeah, so here, here's, one of the, here's one of their stupid things right here. Um, let me start from the top. I know it's only 500-ish women compared to hundreds of thousands of men, but it doesn't mean those women aren't worth honor too. So let me actually click on this to what they were responding to. Oh, nope, can't find it. They must have been deleted. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so the honey badgers literally broke it down into numbers. Oh, well, it was a majority of male who fought in. And that was true back then. I don't know the numbers now. And um, I know a lot more women have been moved in uh, to the military field. But th this is ridiculous. Um, but it doesn't mean those women aren't worth honoring, too. Every soldier, if you have served, does not matter creed. How you identify, does not matter what religion you have, you have served in this country, you have my respect. That bottom line, that's it. This is bullshit. This is such bullshit. Uh, can I point something out? I know everyone is hugely offended by my tweet. Well, no freaking shit, because you just pretty much shut upon uh, the women who have served. But on this day of remembering sacrifice, is it acceptable to remember that death in war is overwhelmingly male? Who cares? Who the frick cares? See, we, we squawk. Now I point something out. We squawk at when the feminists cry about how many evil white men are in something and compared to women. And now you are kind of flipping that, saying, oh, well, we should just focus on the majority, uh, the majority, which is male, men who have served. And I'm not sure on any soldier here, um, but you're saying that we should just focus solely on the men who have served. Because you have broke this down into numbers. It does not matter if it's overwhelmingly male, female, transgender. It does not matter. If you're a soldier and you have served, you have sacrificed your time, your family, your loved ones, it should be respected. Period. I don't know why the fuck you're breaking this down into numbers. Um, not offended at all. I just think everyone who sacrifices more should be honored. Thank you. Exactly. Chaos. Exactly. I use the same argument for things like domestic abuse. That is a good point. I don't care how many victims are female or male. Everyone deserves the same support mechanism. Yes, they do. Just see everyone is human, not hard. There you go. Okay, so how does it negate women's sacrifice to recognize the overwhelmingly male nature of the sacrifice exactly? So you are focusing way too much on the numbers, my dude. It just, these guys are cringy. It got proven on the kumite. It just, they bitch over stupid stuff. Um, I didn't say it did. I don't care how many are male or female. Uh, because they're all people and all worthy of the same recognition. Yes, exactly. They are all soldiers. They took their time out of their lives. They sacrificed family, friends, uh, freaking careers, uh, their parts of their adulthood, which they're never going to get back. I mean, parts of their sanity. I mean, I could go on. Um, but the which gender is the bigger victim game? Exactly. I can't stand modern feminism. Don't we like them? Excellent point. And these guys are on the other side of the spectrum. Um, then what is the problem with acknowledging the overwhelmingly male nature of sacrifice and wartime on a day for recognizing sacrifice? Focus on sacrifice in general. I don't know why the heck you're trying to make it gender specific. It, it, ridiculous. I will recognize when women are the overwhelming victims of something when they are. Wow, you are a shitbag. Like, uh, fuck... The women soldiers. Uh, that, that is what you were saying. Let me read this again. Then, what is the problem with acknowledging the overwhelmingly male nature of sacrifice in wartime on a day for recognizing sacrifice? I will recognize when women are the overwhelmingly victims of something when they are. Wow, you can go fuck yourself because wow. Just wow. Oh my god, because it's not hard to see a gender neutral term such as those and see that everyone is being honored again. However, you identify whatever religion, man, woman, transitioning. I mean, I know that there's um, a controversy and I've discussed that on my channel about how I feel about it. But if you have served regardless of where you stand. You're a soldier of this country. You have sacrificed your time. You whether it be then, now, or you're about ready to get deployed. Thank you. Uh, it doesn't matter that they are men. It matters that they have served. It, it, excuse me. 
it isn't dishonorable to not mention their gender. Um, that's, oh my gosh, it matters when women refuse to be called up under a draft in exchange for voting rights as my debt. Okay, so that that's another can of worms, and we have actually discussed on this channel way back when um, what happens when men refuse to sign up for the draft. I do have a video on it, and um, I could put it in the description or in a uh, pinned comment, but we did cover that. Uh, when then me used to be a thing, somebody on there um, pointed out an article to me. It's by the government. It's from a government website. Um, so, like I said, I will go and find that video. I believe it's called um, Get Screwed Out of Life. Um, it's, that's part of the title. Again, I will find it and put it in the description if you guys want to go check that out because it's a little, <laughs> oh my. Um, but still, regardless, you have nowadays, you have both men and women who go into the army. You have those who, again, I know the transition one's a little bit of a pickle. And uh, I've already talked about how much on how I feel about it. Again, another can of worms. Um, but those who have come out to, or you, you're, you're still a soldier. Those who have been in war, whether you're transitioning, man, woman, whatever. You're still to be honored as a vet. Those of you who are bought ready to go deployed, you are still honored. Still to be honored. So you guys are shitbags. And especially for that tweet, which again, I'm going to go down and scroll again to show. Because this is some bullshit. Where that will go. Okay, so this one. This is... Then what is the problem with acknowledging the overwhelming male nature of sacrifice and wartime on a day for recognizing sacrifice? I will recognize when women are the overwhelming victims of something when they are. Let me point out something to you, shithead. Because when men go overseas, like let's, for example, this is nothing to the lady soldiers or to those who are out and transitioning. Um, let me point something out. Let's take, they just use men in the equation for just one second here. What about the sacrifice that wives and children and grandmothers and mothers and aunts and sisters have to make when their brothers, fathers, uncles, grandfathers, uh, cousins, nephews, they have to watch them go overseas and possibly die and not come back. There's no sacrifice in that because they have to let their loved one go because their loved one uh, chose to fight in the war fight for this country. That's not a sacrifice. They say, yes, I support you in this. And I'm willing to sacrifice the time with you. That's not a sacrifice to you. Because that's a pretty damn big sacrifice to me. Because a lot of the time. Um, again we're just using men in the equation. Just for now. Because I know that there's wives who go overseas. And the husbands. There are those situations. Just bear with me. So getting back to my point. That's not a sacrifice. When birthdays. Uh, possibly births. Are. Uh, the mom getting birth and the dad not being there is not a sacrifice. Um, not being able to see your ch um, child's uh, graduation or the mom going alone is not a sacrifice. Or dealing with a hard family situation with the kids on your own is not a sacrifice. That's not a sacrifice to you. And I understand there's um, some people may think I'm comparing apples and oranges. But when the men go away... They're sacrificing their lives, but guess who also is sacrificing as well? And I know the sacrifices are different, but for those of you who are fan, uh, military brats, who are military spouses, you get exactly what I'm saying. And I'm sure you can iterate this way better than I can. And if you feel free to, do so in the comment section below. Maybe you can talk some sense to these shitbags, because holy crap. Anyway... Families sacrifice as well. Women have sacrificed as well when they have watched their significant other, brother, uncle, grandfather, cousin, nephew, go off the war and possibly not come back. Or when they do come back, they come back an entirely different person because they've probably been mentally broken. I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you people. You guys are a, a complete joke. Then. There's a reason why a lot of people don't take you seriously or even want to associate with you as MRAs. Good lord. Anyway, to those who have served, any and all, thank you for your service. I've had family and friends who serve. You have my respect. Regardless, 
of what gender you are, thank you. Thank you for your service. And that's what we should all be saying. Fuck these people. <laughs>